The U.S. is authorizing hundreds of millions of dollars more in military aid for Ukraine. CBS 2's Nicole D'Antonio tells us this comes on the same day that China's president began his, his high-profile trip to Russia. China's President Xi Jinping and Russia's President Vladimir Putin called each other dear friends as they began a series of face-to-face -face meetings at the Kremlin Monday. China's leader is expected to use the high-profile visit to renew calls for a ceasefire in Ukraine. But U.S. officials say any agreement must also call for the removal of Russian forces from Ukrainian territory. The world should not be fooled by any tactical move by Russia, aided by China or any other country, to freeze the war on its terms without any viable pathway to restore Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. The U.S. State Department announced another $350 million in weapons and equipment to Ukraine, saying the U.S. will continue to stand by the besieged country as long as it takes. The meetings between Xi and Putin come just days after the International Criminal Court issued an arrest warrant for Putin for the deportation and abduction of children from Ukraine to Russia. That President Xi is traveling to Russia days after the International Criminal Court issued an arrest warrant for President Putin, suggests that China feels no responsibility to hold the Kremlin accountable for the atrocities committed in Ukraine. The Kremlin doesn't recognize the ICC's jurisdiction, and Russia's investigative committee said it is opening a criminal case against a prosecutor and three judges of the ICC over the arrest warrants. Nicole D'Antonio, CBS News, the White House.